Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is the sky with so much promise and potential and happiness, especially in the early part of the month. Right around the 9th, we are going to have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon is taking place in fellow fire sign, Leo, and it is speaking in supreme harmony with your ruling planet Mars. This for you is getting in touch with what it is that you really want, what it is that's truly going to make you happy, what is it that brings you joy. Now this energy can also speak to fertility and children, whether it's children you have or children that you want, and this can be a time when it feels like there are positive developments on that front. This can also speak to a creative project or endeavor, whether it is a chance to share in bigger ways that allow you to feel like you're tapping into your very best that much more easily, or it may just be a really great idea. Regardless, it feels as if a creative vision or project in some way is coming to fruition at this time, and it feels deeply satisfying. Now, I am going to come back to this full moon because it's important, especially when we look at heart. We're also going to look at this in the context of love. But first, let me also add that we are going to have a new moon this month as we normally do two weeks later. And it is that new moon that is happening in the sign just before yours. And this does suggest a marked shift of pace, a change in how it is that you're approaching the world and going about moving through the world as well. With this new moon in a part of the sky that has to do with what's happening on deep levels of soul, of psyche, of spirit, which has to do with healthy closures and shifting your own energy in a way that ultimately, and in the bigger picture, certainly can positively speak to how well your life unfolds. Well, it does look like even though it is a quiet time, as new moons in this part of the sky tend to indicate, it is nonetheless consequential. There are harmonious connections happening between this new moon and your ruling planet Mars and Uranus as well. And this does suggest good karma that could find you now very much by surprise, a personal awakening that happens at this time, truly allowing you to feel like you're ready to move forward and embrace the future ahead. And a real clarity can be indicated at this time. Now, sometimes that's just your spirit feeling more clear, more open to your future, more open to the things that make you happy, that excite you about where you are now and where you're heading. But it is also possible that it is more on a conscious level this real sense of clarity coming in, fresh energy coming in. And even though there aren't big moves being made at this time, your strength is in what is happening behind the scenes. It is nonetheless consequential. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I promised you I'd go back to that full moon, but it isn't just the full moon, but just two days before we have that full moon, right around the 9th, two days earlier, is when we are going to have Venus enter your sign. When Venus enters your sign, it is as if you are starting a brand new cycle in the context of love, and it feels like love is that much more available to you, that much more possible for you as well. That full moon is going to bring what your heart truly wants into focus, and that includes in matters of love as well. That beautiful Mars energy certainly does feel like an awakening to you as flirtation can bring. So if you're open to meeting someone new, I would not be surprised if you had some sort of a flirtation right around the full moon that did feel like a wake-up call. But not only that, it is a start. It's a beginning for you. It signals a sense of you being open to love in a way that might not be so familiar as of late. It is going to be Venus ultimately in your sign that allows you to feel like you're able to attract love into your life that much easier. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, I do like that full moon for dating. Um, it does suggest that you're truly enjoying yourself in the company of this person. And with Venus in your sign, this energy of love being very much with you, well, chances are you'll start to feel that love and that joy in their company grow that much more. 
And for those of you who are in an established bond, I actually think that it is going to be Venus that ends up being the stronger player. As much as that full moon does indicate romance and can be really nice for spending time with this person that you love, it is ultimately Venus that's going to allow you to feel like your life with this person is that much sweeter, that much softer, and it can feel as if this person is able to be that much more loving towards you, that much more generous towards you at this time. You've got about four weeks of this energy of Venus in your sign, and all else being equal, it tends to be a good time for outside of love, anything that you want to do to connect with Venusian energy, whether that's new clothes, new hair color, um, whether that's something more permanent like a new tattoo or cosmetic procedure. However, there is one caveat there, and that is the fact that this is a Mercury retrograde month as well. It is going to be Mercury that at the start of the month goes into shadow as we move further into the month goes retrograde and will be retrograde right in the next month as well. So we're in Mercury retrograde season throughout the month. And so if you're redoing something with Venus in your sign, chances are you'll like the results very much. But doing something brand new, really out there that you've never done before, never tried before, that's where I'd invite you to be a little bit careful. What I love about this month for you, well, I actually really love that full moon in the middle of the month. I love Venus in your sign. Venus in your sign is actually a signal of faith. It reminds you to slow down a little bit, to know that you are worthy of good things just showing up for you. It isn't that you have to necessarily go out there and fight and make it happen, like is sometimes the instinct for Aries out there. But with Venus in your sign, it reminds you to just relax just a little bit and to know that you alone are enough for great things to find you. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.